This is the Explore Planet Earth Speedy Deluxe Ensuite Shower Tent. I'm gonna show you how to set it up and pack it away. Let's get started. Hey folks, Ben from Snowy's here today with a neat little shower tent or ensuite shower tent from Explore Planet Earth called the Speedy Deluxe Ensuite. It's a quick pitch tent. Kind of gives you two spaces for a shower and a sort of toilet in one. I'm gonna show you how to set it up and pack it away today. This is how it comes when you buy it. Plenty of room in the bag. The bag measures about 115 centimeters in length by about 23 centimeters in width and depth. And it weighs around about seven and a half kilos. I'll start by showing you what comes in the bag. Okay, so inside we've got the main tent here. There's a little hamper for storage. This will make more sense as we set it up. This is the floor for one side that will just clip into the sides, just a polyethylene tarp floor. We also get the little fly cap that goes over the top, so that just attaches with these clips here. And this, I think, is a yep, storage, they call it a caddy, so you've got various little storage pockets in here to keep your shampoos and things at bay. You also get uh, instruction manual, um, a couple of little poles to make more sense where they go shortly when we set it up, and a little bag of pegs, just lightweight pegs. Um, probably enough for this tent, but it could benefit from a few heavier duty pegs just with the guys to keep it in place. Now I'll show you how to set it up. We'll get started. It is a bit windy here today. So if it is windy, just take care with a frame like this, an instant up frame and put pegs in at any stage you can so that the wind doesn't take it across the tent, so the, across the camp, sorry. First thing I wanna do though is grab this section of the tent, lay it out and we'll peg the corners out. Okay, so if we set it upright so that this center hub here points upwards, that's gonna be the peak of the tent. And just let the forearms fall down to the side and just find where the doorway is so that you've got it facing the right way. So I can see that it might be the window there, I think. I've got the door on this side here and I can tell because I've got the zipper that runs right around the base here. So I'm just gonna spin it around so the door's facing the other way. Now before I go any further, I'm gonna grab four pegs and peg in the base so that this uh, wind can't take the tent away. So I've got four pegs in place. There's a couple more we can put in. There's a peg halfway along um, the back here and I believe there is also one halfway along the front there. But I'm gonna leave them for now and I'm gonna start to get this frame in shape. So to do that, we pull the center hub up so it stands central here. And then we grab these arms here. We can see these orange um, cover over these knuckles here. We need to invert all of them back on themselves and the frame will start to take shape. Could be handy with two people, but manageable with one. So we can see that's now starting to take shape. There's two little arms on the sides here that also need to pop out, so we pull them out. So once we've pulled them out, we can see the tent starting to take shape. It's a lower version of what it will be. Now, from here we come to each of these uprights, we need to extend these legs out where this orange button is. So we pull this until this locks into place. Now these can be a little bit sticky from new, so just give it a good firm tug until that locks into place there. We do that on all four legs. Okay, so the frame's in place. Now what I'm gonna do now is go around and put all four of these guy ropes in. There's a guy rope on each corner. That's gonna make the frame sturdy in this wind. Once we've got the guy ropes in, we can then throw the, the fly over the top and set everything else up. Okay, now I've got our other accessories here because we've got the tent set up. The guy ropes are in. It's reasonably sturdy here now at the moment. The tighter we do these guy ropes, the sturdier it is. Now I've got the fly sheet and these are the accessories for inside. I'm just gonna put them inside here for now because it's windy and they'll blow away. Now the fly sheet's just a cap fly. So it's got these clips here that line up with these little plastic toggles on each corner. So they just loop in there. Now there's no orient, right orientation, sorry, for the fly sheet here. It's just long on one side, short on the other. So the shorter sides obviously go to the ends. So if I come around this side here, so I'm setting it up with the wind in my favor. I can clip this in here, try and hold it tight. This is something that will be easier with a second person and when it's not particularly windy for the day. I'll clip that there, I'll clip this here and I'll quickly run up the other end before the wind catches it. 
and we'll clip the other end. Now I said the uh, fly sheet didn't have an orientation, but it does, but only for the sake of this logo here. If you want that facing the front, maybe just spin it around the other way. While I am at the back here though, if I was setting this up with a shower, there's this little zip here, which is an access point to access a hot water unit on the outside of the tent here, which I've got one just here conveniently set up earlier. So as you're setting up your shower, grab one of these, you put it near the back here like this, and that way, while you're having your shower, you can unzip this, reach out, and adjust the shower temperature while you're in there. Now, the last thing to set up are just a few things inside. So we'll go around the front, step inside the door, and clip everything in place. Now, almost we got one more thing before we step inside is there's some brace poles that go on the end here. So a couple of little um, flexible fiber fiberglass poles here. Put them in place. They just go in the eyelets here across the back. Just adds a little bit of extra stability. Also doubles as a bit of a towel hanging rail. So there's one of them on each end. I'll put this other one in place and then we'll step inside the tent. I've just rolled the doors back so we can see what's going on in here. Now there's three more things that we've got to put in place. A uh, hamper, a uh, caddy and the floor. Now we'll start with the hamper and the caddy. Now the hamper is a slightly longer um, of the two uh, accessory units to go in here. So they clip in these little plastic loops here. One there, one there and a couple at the bottom as well, just to keep it nice and tight. So we've now got a bit of a, a protective sort of storage space for clothes there. And then the caddy goes on this side because it's closest to the shower, clips in the same manner. There's a loop here, another loop here, and at the bottom as well to keep it from flapping around too much. Now that's with an accessible reach to the shower if we want to keep shampoo or if it's just for your own accessories and things once you're uh, finished in the shower. Now the last thing is the floor which goes in this side. You can see on this side of the tent we've got a polyethylene floor in the middle with mesh around the outside. That's the shower side of the tent. But on this side we've just got this polyethylene tarp type material that we can lay in here. It's a, it sort of has an orientation but it doesn't fit really tightly. There are clips in the corners here, little plastic loops that this could clip onto to sort of hold it in place. But it doesn't fit really tightly in here, so those clips can tend to come off. Clip them in place, it should hold it in spot, but it can just sit in there loosely though, just as a dry spot or a clean spot for you to stand on while you're getting changed. That's all the tent set up. I'll go one step further and I'm gonna actually show you how that shower rose can run inside the tent if you're using uh, that type of shower with this tent. So to do that, if we step over to the shower unit here, this is that little zipper that I showed you on the outside before to access the shower unit there. We've also got this little zipper on the left-hand side of that there. So if I reach out here, grab our shower rose from our hot water unit and feed it in through here, this can then come up to the top here. Now I might need to actually undo this. It's gonna drip everywhere. I'm just gonna do that outside because it's got water in it. Let some water out. So this shower rose can actually slip in here like this. You could even put it through there if you wanted. Just leave it resting there for now. We'll put the hose in through the gap there, screw it back in place and that's our shower rose hanging so that it will now square it's got this kind of mesh panel that it can sit in and we can angle that so that it's squirting the shower over onto me here so there is another tie at the top here and another loop up there if you wanted to use that to attach anything to but i would say i mean i'm 185 centimeters tall and that's just above my head height there so that's gonna be a pretty comfortable shower, I would say, and you can sort of adjust it, play around and adjust it a little bit. And I've got enough room here, like it's not, it's not a really big roomy shower, but I've got enough room here to move around. And in terms of a camp shower, it's pretty good. Further to that, you've got windows and vents that you can set up in here, depending on how you want the, the shower set up. But that is the Explore Planet Earth Speedy Deluxe Ensuite Shower Tent all set up. I did that pretty easily by myself always makes life easier if you've got a second set of hands. Pack up's pretty easy too. Being windy, I'm gonna make sure I leave the pegs in until last so the wind doesn't take it. But I'll get started by taking the fly up and packing all the accessories away. Okay, I'll take the poles at the end here and I'm gonna take the guy ropes out. So once I've taken these out, I just need to be aware that obviously there's not much stability in the tent and it is a bit windy. So I wanna move pretty quickly to collapse it down after that. Okay, now to collapse the tent down, we go around to each of these uprights and we push the orange button and that's gonna allow us to collapse these upright poles down. So don't force it, just let it sit loose. Do it on all four corners and the tent will then come down to that low sort of stage. 
Okay, so we now need to invert this frame down. Now we need to fold these, but I find it's actually easier to fold these ones after we push these ones back. So if we push them in, invert that, let it collapse down. Do the same at the other end there. And these end ones here sort of start to collapse down by themselves anyway, but you can just push them in the rest of the way. Just watching your fingers that you don't get caught in there as you go. And that's now the frame collapsed down. Now I've still got the four pegs in the corners. I'm happy to take them out now because it's flat on the ground. And I've just noticed that this panel here has dropped off from the bottom of the pole here. Um, they just twist into place. So if this does happen, just line the oval shape here up with the oval shape on the bottom there, put it in place, give it a twist and you're good to go again. Now from here, we need to step over into the center of the tent put this or stand this upright and we can pull all the legs up into the middle like this so gotta keep almost need two sets of hands this is where it would be easier to have a second person but we need to hold all these up in the middle here easy with that wind as well lay this down flat get all the guy ropes in the middle you can spend a bit of time this is a bit messy here today because the winds caught it but if you can spend a bit of time sort of flattening this out it can make rolling it up easily but if you don't it's still going to go back in the bag pretty easily anyway so i'm going to be a bit lazy here today and show you that you can still get it back in the bag without spending heaps of time flattening all that fabric out so there we go even despite me being a little bit lazy and not really folding that up very neatly it went back in this bag really easily that is how you set up and pack away the Explore Planet Earth Speedy Deluxe Ensuite Shower Tent. Pretty easy by myself. Grab a second set of hands. It's going to make it even easier. You can grab these online at snowies.com.au at our lowest prices every day. If you've got any questions, let us know down in the comments below. Subscribe to our channel for all of our latest information. Or check out some other videos like this one down here.